everyone, my name is Ashan and welcome to my home. I'm going to do a very simple recipe for these difficult times which is like a treat. It's tea time and we are making scones. Uh, everything that we need to make scones is available at home very easily. I'm going to just run through it. We need flour, we need egg, soft butter, we need some milk, caster sugar, baking powder, some cinnamon and nutmeg powder. I've mixed them together and some raisins. Uh, if you have uh, anything which is not available here, for example, if you don't have raisins, you can have cherries or cranberries or any kind of berry. Uh, it's very simple, so let's get started to it. To our flour, we're going to add all the caster sugar. It's basically mixing everything together, gently moving it and then we are ready. Baking powder. I'm going to add half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder and maybe a little bit more. We're going to put all the milk at once. It's time to put the egg. I'm going to put on the raisins a little extra because they come, become very crunchy and caramelized in the scone. So maybe like two big spoons of it. And last, we put the soft melted butter. I'm just going to now mix everything together. You can even do it with your hand, make like a dough. Uh, we are in the kitchen right now. I've set my oven at 180 degrees uh, to preheat and the dough is ready. I've taken a tray which is basically drizzled with some flour so that the scones don't really stick together. And I don't really have a perfect cutter for the scones, so I'm using like a, a little uh, dappa, a little box for storing spices upside down, it's clean. So we're going to make a little bit thick dough, let's say around one centimeter thick and we're going to cut it gently and here you goes your scone and we're going to just place it right here on the tray. Right here. The good thing is for the scone, you don't really need it to sit for a longer time to prove. It can directly go into the oven as soon as the temperature is 180 degrees. So this recipe basically gives you exactly 10 portions, 10 pieces of scones. And I think it's good for an evening tea. Now let's get started and put this into our oven, which is 180 degrees hot and ready. So our scones are ready, it took exactly 12 minutes to bake them. The key thing is to keep the scones out after drizzling sugar so that the sugar caramelizes and they become slightly hard and the steam which is inside makes it still moist. We're going to take a few pieces, it's not sticking, perfectly fine, well three pieces maybe in a portion. I have some jam here, I've got a blackberry jam which I'm going to put right here. Here. And I've got some chili and strawberry, which is again kind of interesting. If you have clotted cream or lemon curd, please go for it. Now, let's try it out. As they say, you break it open from the middle. There you see the steam going out. Put the jam in. Well, I'm just gonna go each jam by jam and not mix it. And we're ready to eat. Mmm. We 
Friday night.